Who is a teenager? What is a teenager? If we can decide what makes someone a teenager, then we can say that anyone with that characteristic is a teenager, and that anyone without that characteristic is not a teenager. Let's look at the ages of some people who actually are teenagers. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. Do you notice a pattern here? That's right. They all have ages ending in teen. That is why they are called teenagers. So we see that both the origin and the definition of teenager are obvious, clear, and unambiguous. So what age comes after 11? To teen? To teen? Second teen? No, no such words even exist. The age after 11 is 12. There is no teen in 12. Therefore, a 12-year-old is not a teenager. You would think that this is so obvious that it wouldn't need to be said, but unfortunately it isn't for some. In a certain family channel on YouTube, a certain 12-year-old was referred to several times as a teenager, though she herself pointed out to her sister that she is not. When I pointed out that she is only 12 and therefore not a teenager, another commenter said, No, she is 12, so she is an adolescent. That's like saying that I was wrong for saying that this bird is not a chicken because it is, in fact, a duck and therefore a bird. That is a straw man argument since nobody denied that she was an adolescent. She had, after all, gotten her first period several months earlier and had both acne and obvious uh, curves. It's also wrong because being 12 doesn't automatically make you an adolescent. But what exactly is an adolescent? An adolescent is a child who is in the process of acquiring the characteristics of an adult. So you could say that they're in between childhood and adulthood at least in terms of their minds and bodies. But how many adult characteristics does a child have to acquire before they are considered adolescent? To what extent do they have to acquire these characteristics? Do you become an adolescent when you first develop coarse, clearly visible pubic and axillary hair? When you first develop the odorous type of perspiration? When you get your first zit? For girls when they get their first period or have signs of breast development? For boys when their voices start to change? Or when they first start to take on the signs of masculine muscle development or facial hair? All these things happen at different ages and proceed at different rates for different people. Adolescents could start at 10 or not until 14. So there is no age at which you can definitely say that someone is an adolescent. So we see that the words teenager and adolescent don't mean the same thing, and though they are not mutually exclusive, they cannot be used interchangeably. Saying that 12-year-olds are teenagers because they are adolescent, and that some adolescents are teenagers, would be like saying that because some girls are teenagers, all girls are teenagers, or that all teenagers are girls. Obviously there are girls who are not teenagers, and teenagers who are not girls. Though some teenagers are adolescents, there are also teenagers who are not yet adolescents and teenagers who are no longer adolescents. Indeed, some teenagers are considered adults. It can be seen, then, that the only thing all teenagers have in common, aside from being human, is that their age ends in teen. If we allow 12-year-olds to be called teenagers, then there really is no such thing as a teenager since there would be no unique distinguishing characteristic that all teenagers have in common. When I was 10 to 12 years old, people in that age group were called preteens. Today they are called tweens, which seems like a more precise and accurate term since they are between being just a child and being a teenager. 
tweenhood is a wonderful and unique time in life that is also very brief and should be enjoyed while it lasts for what it actually is. Being a teenager has joys of its own, but there is no need to rush it. You have seven years to be a teenager, but only three short years to be a tween. You shouldn't rush it for anyone else either. If you are a parent, you will have a teenager on your hands for seven years. Do you really want to make it eight, nine, or ten? So the next time you hear someone oxymoronically call a 12-year-old a teenager, tell them they are wrong and show them this video.